Hi everybody, Miss Wyke here, and today I want to show you how you're going to make notebooks for Miss Wyke, my English language arts class. First thing you have to do is go to google.com, I guess I could have gone there instead. So once you go to google.com, up here in the right hand corner, you're going to see a sign in button. Well, that is, if you're not already signed in. But as long as, you know, you're going to sign in, once you sign in, you're going to come to a page that looks something like this. If you don't see your account here, you might just see login information. If you see that login information, then go ahead and just click to log in using that information. If you don't see your account here, go ahead and click Add Account, and then put in your at hcsindy.org username and password. Now, it is imperative, it is very, very important that you use your at hcsindy.org school, school email address, it's not a website, your school email address. You are not allowed to use any other Google account or Gmail account. You must use your at hcsindy.org account. So here I already have it up. I'm just going to click it. And it's going to ask me for my password. Go ahead and type that in. And then I'm going to click sign in. Now I am signed in. And my name, that website, that, why do I keep calling it a website? That email address appears up here at the top. Once you are, once you have that open, you can go ahead and click these nine squares. And right here, you can see Google Drive. Okay, now I'm into my drive. Hold on. Did you see how I did that? Or are you still confused? If you're confused, stop now, rewind, and watch it again. If you aren't in Google Chrome, but maybe you're in Firefox, let me show you how to do it from there. Okay, so if you're in Google, if you're in Firefox, same idea applies, except you can go www.google.com, okay, and once you're at the Google page, the same things will show up. You'll still have access to nine squares. You'll still have access to log in. If you're logged into a different Google account, you might need to click add account and then input your information, and you'll switch users. Okay, so once you're in your Google Drive, what I need you to do is create a folder. And in that folder, I want you to put your last name. Then your first name. Um, and what period I teach you. whatever it is and then put English language arts ELA and create right here okay this is where you store all your information for my class it's um, especially the stuff that can't be shared on Google classroom so notebooks and things like that Once you're you're in the file, so you clicked on I clicked on the file name, you are ready to create a notebook. And from here you're gonna click create and then document. This is really in the wrong place. I'm gonna move that. So once that loads, give it a second, I can see it's still thinking. Then you can rename your document by clicking on the title. And for your notebook, I want you to follow this format. Last name, so for me it'd be Wyke. English language, or period, number, English language arts, 
that's more to help you than it is to help me. And whatever notebook it is. Maybe it's video notes. Writing. Reading. These would all be separate notebooks. So in this case, I want to make video notes. And I'm going to click OK, and now it's saved in the format I want. Remember, don't type last name. Type your last name. Don't type period with the pound sign or hashtag symbol. I want you to write, which also means number, by the way. I want you to write your period number, English language arts, and then the title of your notebook. Now, at the beginning of every notebook entry, I want you to write the date. So in this case, 8-9-2014. Then you need to include a title. So we need the date and then the title. And then we will write all of our notes. Once you have put in all your notes, well, we'll pretend those are all notes, right? Okay. Yes, I realize that those are not words. And you have finished those for the day. Wait. Right. It's automatically going to save itself every three to five seconds. Once you've completed the notes for that lesson, and maybe, you know, you're done, you leave. But now it's time for a new lesson. Then you need to add the date. And the title. How, you know, whatever the title of that lesson is. Whatever the topic of what we will be discussing is. And then you're going to insert the notes. Here's a hint. Most, most of your notes are just going to be whatever I write on the screen. So if I write something on the screen, then you need to type it into your notes or put it into your notes. Okay? That's just that's kind of a teacher secret. Most things teachers want you to note now they won't always write it down, but they will all uh, many teachers will because they want to give that visual reminder. So most things teachers want you to remember they will write down on the board and those are the things that are on the screen in the case for video notes. And that's how you know if that is important. Okay, so this automatically is saved. So I'm going to exit, go back to my drive, or the docs, the doc, Google Docs home, and I'll be able to see all my documents here. Momentarily, apparently. So you can see all my Google Docs. Or, let's say you don't want to go to your Google Docs, you want to go back to the folder. Just go up here and click Google. And you'll go back to your Google Drive as is. So, if you want to go back to there. Now you have your notebook, you have a file. But I need you to do one more thing. I need you to share it with me. I would click back on the folder and you can either go here where it says share or you can go up here and you can click share folder and you're going to share it with me so I want you to put in my email address down here mwike at hcsindy.org I would like you to leave it as can edit although I will not be editing your work I would like to be able to add comments and if you change it to only the fact that I can view, then you have to change your sharing. Sorry, you have to change your sharing um, 
restrictions on each document. This way, by just leaving as can edit, and then you click send, it will leave, it will share everything you put in this folder with me automatically, and you don't have to re, um, submit those. You don't have to recreate each of the sharing permissions for each document. Now what I want you to do is click create a document. Let it load. This goes a lot faster on a Chromebook. Click on the title so you can change it and follow the same format. So last name, period, English language arts, and whatever notebook this is. So maybe the writing notebook. Once you have your writing notebook, this would be what you do your daily free writes in, what you might work on drafts, or when we learn new lessons. This will be all your more rough draft type work. And it's really important you leave it all in there. There are a lot of options of things you can do. You can strike things out. You can highlight it. You can do a lot of different ways to edit out stuff you no longer want. But I want this to be your roughest of your rough drafts. We will pick certain portions throughout the year that we will then edit, fix, correct. And we'll just copy and paste that to a new document when the time comes. So the first thing you should always do is add the, type, the date. And then you should always add the title. Or you might copy the prompt here and then start your free write. One day, whatever happens. You know, so you're going to write during that first five minutes. And it might help if you write free write. Actually, I would like it if you did that. So for free writes, you're going to do this, free write, copy the prompt from the board, and start, and then you're writing. You know, at that, after our mini lesson, you might have another opportunity to write. You might have the same date, but that's okay. You can still write it down. And here you might say what you are working on from writing. This may or may not take place here. This might take place in another location, and that's okay. Um, a different designated location, a location that we will create together when that time comes. Um, again, you're going to want to add a title and then work on your writing. There are a lot of different ways we can write a lot of different things, but that gives you the idea. And so now, when you go back, to your folder or to your Google Docs, both of those that are in that folder will be shared with me automatically. And really, that's it. That's all I've got for you today. That's all I wanted to share. Hopefully, that will help you to understand better what's expected of you on in your notebooks and what how to create those notebooks.